Hey everyone, it's Nico from Documenting Simple Living. Today I am going to take you along with me for a mini spring yard cleanup. Now, when I first started filming this video, because I filmed it over a few days, I was super optimistic about what I would be able to accomplish in the limited time I have during the day, because obviously I have the blog and I make these videos, but I also work full time and I have kids with me. So I don't know why I thought I could get all of this done for one video, but nonetheless, I wanted to show you what I did get done. I will take you first on a little tour of the yard that we have, and then I will just take you through what I got done. So this is our small yard. We live in a apartment in the UK and we're lucky to have this little backyard. Now when we moved in, this was totally overgrown so you can see remnants of it. This was a huge bush that kind of ballooned over the whole patio area and this whole area was full of weeds. This is for laundry by the way, very common in the UK. Um, this whole area, which is the main bed, garden bed, was full of weeds. These are bulbs that a previous tenant put in, which I left because I think they'll look nice when they bloom. There's wild roses growing there, which I left as well. And then this tree is a butterfly bush and it's huge in the summer with big purple flowers. So I kind of cut it back so it's a bit of a umbrella over the yard, but I'm thinking that because I'm going to plant spring flowers here, I'm going to need to cut it back even more. This fence here was put in by a previous tenant as well and the reason they did that was because the neighbors are actually right there and they can see without the fence they can see directly into this yard and so understandably the tenant wanted privacy so they put up that um, fence but it's kind of dilapidated and it's falling over the butterfly bush is actually tethered to it and in strong winds it um, pulls it over and so it needs a little TLC which I'm going to try to do but you can see what the yard looked like before I did the initial cleanup here behind the fence because this is an area that we don't really see from our window and so I didn't prioritize it when I did the initial cleanup and it's so overgrown with ivy and I don't even know what else is back there. Lots of ivy. It really needs to be gone through. I am six months pregnant and by the time I have the physical ability and like time to go back in here and clean that out. If I don't do it now, it'll be summertime, which means it'll be much harder to actually clean out. So I'm gonna try to tackle that as well. When I did the initial clean out, I also swept off this patio area, which is quite nice, and bought us these table and chairs and fire pit and hung up some string lights that you can kind of see. But things need to kind of be tended to there's weeds growing in the cracks there. Everything needs to be kind of brushed off and cleaned up. I need to rehang these. We had some strong winds, so I need to rehang them. There's more string lights, but the batteries are dead in the, in the butterfly bush, so I need to replace those batteries. So I have big dreams for eventually hanging lights from this wall all the way across to the actual flat. And making it a bit more of like a bistro sort of area um, that we can have like charcuterie nights here in the summertime. I think that would be really nice. But I, for now, just want to focus on kind of going back over everything and cleaning it up and getting everything ready for spring because like I said, I'm going to focus on reseeding this area with flowers. I bought seeds from the British Wildlife Conservatory and they're seeds that will grow into flowers that attract bees and moths. 
Okay, so I'm going to begin here with doing a bit of weeding and then kind of raking out some of the loose weeds and debris that's in this soil. actually really hard to make the soil look nice and fresh because there's so many rocks and so much debris in it and I can't obviously remove everything so I don't know I'm gonna have to be satisfied at some point Okay, I'm gonna keep going. I have all of this area to do. cleaner cut back that burn a little bit and here's what I raked out of there so I'll put that in a bag and take it to the compost that's looking a lot cleaner So then I started to clean up the patio area. This is a really nice area that I think we can have a lot of fun with in the summertime. And I began cleaning that space up by weeding out some of the little weeds that were popping up in the cracks of the pavement. Okay, I getting less done than I originally thought I would because my children are awake but I wanted to show you um, what I've done so far so I have raked this area you can see it more there um, and that is a pile of compost so I'm gonna move that into my compost bag but I've raked here, all around, and I've weeded as well. You can see I did not get behind the fence. That is probably a full day job, to be honest. Really overestimated my time here. Um, oops. That one can come out. So what I'm for sure gonna do today I'm gonna come back out here later, is fix these lights. Um, they're kind of just falling everywhere and I'm gonna put them back up in the tree a bit more nicely. I'm gonna replace the batteries, easy, easy. Okay, I also went over here and uh, raked and it was kind of like filled in with debris here. So it actually looks better here you can see a noticeable change I think and then I uh, weeded the cracks of this pavement cleaned out the fire pit wiped on the table and uh, weeded a bit over here but there's more to do as you can see just there that needs to go here's a little pile of compost and then there I have another bag full of compost as well so I'm gonna come back out here 
in a little bit and just finish up a few loose ends. Obviously I'm getting way less done than I planned, but so is the situation today. One major thing I didn't do is this tree, but I was thinking I could save that for the weekend when I have a bit more time. And I also didn't do the fence, but I, again, I think that'll take a bit longer than I have today. So I will save that for another weekend as well. A lot of the motivation I have to kind of clean up this space, in addition to just having a nice space for us to hang out in the summertime outside, is to clear it out to have the ability to grow flowers and herbs and even vegetables in a few months. If you're on a similar journey of learning to live more simply in the modern world and you don't come from a background of like knowing how to do these things, um, I would love for you to subscribe to the newsletter that I send because that way we can have a back and forth about what we're each learning. I send out tips that I've learned in some of the experiments I'm doing. I also send out things that did not work. So if you're on a similar journey and you want to join a community that we can all kind of support each other in our learning to live more simply in the modern world, please do subscribe to my newsletter. The link is in the description below. Okay, I'm out here again. It's just after breakfast and I have a bit of time, so I'm gonna try to finish up this mini spring yard cleanup. I'm gonna start over by the fence area there. And then I'm going to just take a glance around the whole yard and clean up anything that I missed yesterday. loop down this little path area where I'm going to put the containers in a few months. documenting simple living video.